Welcome to the WVU Football Chat. I'm Todd Murray along with our WVU writer Ed Owens. Ed, the Mountaineers get ready to wrap up the regular season at Iowa State on Saturday and uh, the quarterback situation uh, you know, still a little bit up in the air. What, what's the latest on that? Yeah, it's a million dollar question around the Pushkar Center right now is who's going to be under center for WVU when they take on Iowa State in the regular season finale. Uh, Dana Holgerson shed a little bit more light on it today. Uh, he, he said that Clint Trickett was their quarterback. He definitively said Clint Trickett is our starting quarterback. That said, Trickett still hasn't been cleared to play. He suffered his third concussion in a year uh, in last week's game against Kansas State. As of Tuesday, hasn't been cleared to play. Dana said he thought he would practice Wednesday. Still not sure. I asked Shannon Dawson, does Trickett really need time to get back? As, as long as he's cleared, will you play him? Dawson said yes. So I think as long as Trickett's cleared to go, he's going to be your starting quarterback. That said, I've said it before, I don't really know what the rush is to get Trickett back in there. I don't know that a win or a loss against Iowa State really changes WVU's bowl destination. If you want to give a kid like Skylar Howard a chance, see what you have in him, you might be better off letting him play against the Cyclones, see what you have in a backup quarterback, maybe a quarterback in the future for next year, and then when the bowl game comes around, give Trickett a chance give Howard a chance, kind of let them both get in there. But I don't know why you'd rush Trickett back from his third concussion in a year to play what's relatively a meaningless game against Iowa State. All right, of course, uh, shouldn't need much motivation after the Iowa State game last year. You thought they'd hit rock bottom with that loss against Kansas. Then they come home to Iowa State. They lead 31-7 to and give it away, lose 52-44 in triple overtime. Yeah, a lot of guys this week were talking about that game against Iowa State last year, really sour taste in their mouths heading into the offseason. And really, that's where they developed that offseason mantra of finishing. It's, it's something you heard every single player, every single coach talking about. Win, trust, finish. They say finish for the end because it was the most important. It's what they said all season long. And, and it really stemmed from the way they f didn't finish last season against Iowa State. Early in the year, they did a good job with it. They, they won a few close games by, by coming back and, and finishing games out, something they really struggled with last year. Tony Gibson said it's something they've gotten away from in the last few weeks. They're riding a three-game losing streak. They haven't been able to close things out. It seems like every time they've gotten in a tight situation, they've, they've really found ways to lose rather than found ways to win. They're hoping to get things back on track and, and really get back into that bowl game with a little bit of momentum and, and really finish the season on a positive note. All right, we'll see how it all plays out Saturday in Ames, Iowa. Please continue to follow our WVU football coverage on thedepost.com.